starting off the video with getting a 99, which is actually going to be Urblor, which is a pretty hard 99 for an Iron Man, but it is going to be done now, and we're going to go and get the skill cape. 99 Urblor achieved one step closer to max. Let's start the video. Let's remove the override, of course, I'm probably not going to be using this as an override or as a cape, because the 120 magic cape is quite a lot cooler in my opinion, but there it is anyways. In my last video, I claimed that I will need around 40 extreme hunter potion for those to be able to get to a 99 hunter, meanwhile being boosted the entire time. So, I decided to actually get them. I got 46 extreme hunter potions for those, and now I have a lot of bunnies in my farm and cows that I have been breeding to get the materials for it. And uh, yeah, now I should have all the potions I need for 99 Hunter, and I am also making some urns. I will only be able to make 127, because that's all the mud runes I have, but I don't need urns all the way to 99. It's uh, a nice bonus, but not required. I woke up early today, because I want to be able to get into the Elder God Wars as soon as it's released. And it is going to be released, I think, in two hours from now. So I have some more time to do some Hunter, but I have been grinding this for a while now. You can see I have gained 1.6 million Hunter experience and I'm about to get 93 here. Also, of course, you can see the agility experience is pretty decent as well and I just hit 90. But uh, yeah, let's uh, in the next clip probably get into the Elder God Wars first part, the Noden Front. 11 minutes left and this is the setup I'm going to go for. For the boss, I'm going to be having a Dark Bow in my Essence of Finality using my anima core because it's the best perks i have on these items of course it's not great but it is what i have and my augmented ascension crossbows as well as having some dread nips maybe they're useful and a dragon defender as a shield for resonance and stuff like that i actually don't have a good uh, ranged shield or anything like that so i will have to just go with this for the uh, ability to have a shield so i don't have to unequip also both of my items i guess but uh, yeah, let's uh, see what this is going to be like in 10 minutes. It is now live, but I was teleported out, so let's see what this is going to look like when I enter. So it is a bit different now, there are some uh, like balls here or something. And I wonder what way I'm going to. I think these uh, God Wars guys, the Criara and all those, actually gives, yeah, you can see here, they give abilities. Or some type of buffs. So uh, attune your ability to Criaras. Oh, so you get to choose them. Okay, so swiftness of the Aviancy, channel the Aviancy skin. Oh, 10% damage increase. Okay, interesting. Oh, is a button I press? Oh, that's very interesting. Uh, I've seen things like this, of course, in other games. So, ah, interesting ability for sure. I guess you can get some other buffs as well. And I will have to go to the area with the mobs. To see what type of monsters this is as well. This placement is kind of annoying, but I guess I can just uh, change it somehow with the layout mode. So it should be fine. If you're wondering, it's the extra action button. You can uh, place it somewhere else. I might place it like here or something. Here is the boss, by the way. Oh, this is so interesting. So there's three pieces of the staff. That is so interesting, because I initially assumed it would just be one attachment, but that is really cool that you have to get all these three pieces. I hope that you can't get duplicates. I'm going to assume that you get one of them, and then you get the second one, and then the third one. You can't get the duplicates, but if you can get duplicates, it might be pretty hard to actually get these. Here's the gloves. For six seconds after using the Dragon Breath ability, damage dealt by the combustibility will happen instantly and deal 25% more damage. So it is actually what I thought. The entire dot duration will just be cancelled. There will be no dot and it will just do all the damage right away. That's super interesting. And here's of course the Concentrated Blast ability codex and the Scripture of Jazz, which is the book. You can read the ability there. It's basically just like uh, a proc that does more damage and extra hit after a time. So the Kriara one was 10% more damage, the Samurak one is smash your target with a large attack of 75% of your current weapon damage type, and then the next one is siphon life directly from your target to heal yourself, so that is just a lifesteal, I wonder how much it is, might be pretty good. Actually all of these monsters are 92 slayer requirements, so uh, there is no difference between uh, what slayer requirement you will need from these. Jesus, they do so much damage. I guess it's the siege engine that does all that damage. I just killed one of these monsters. Look at the drop pile. What? There's so many items. Let's see actually in a loot window. Three resonant anima of jazz. One elder trove, jazz one. 
Dragon Kin Bone Siege Engine Parts. I will have to pick all these up and see what they actually do. This is pretty interesting. I don't care too much about the Molten Glass, but... I guess this is the construction thing, where you can actually destroy these and build them. Siege Engine Parts, and then Elder Trove of Jazz. Okay, I'll just drop one of these and see what this is. What is this? Charge Resonant. You need a point for- Okay, so this is to update the ring. And then this is- Oh my god, 20 battle staves? That is actually insane. That's like 200k, or maybe not. Never mind, they're only 3k. I thought they were like 8k or something. But here is the gateway to the boss, and I am going to go in with just missing some food. I don't really care that much. I'm probably not going to get the kill on the first attempt, but I don't really know how hard the normal mode is going to be. So uh, let's see how this is going to work. Okay, I'm in phase 2 now, and by the way, there is another button here, so I don't think you will be able to use the next ability. This one you have to click to, to like go back in time or something, and you have to deal with, I think, double the mechanics. So basically, uh, I don't want to die here, so I have to focus. So basically, like, in phase 1, you fight one of the boss, and then in the phase 2, you fight another version of the boss along with it. So all the uh, abilities will be duplicated, which is super interesting. So now you can see, for example, in uh, phase 3, now I actually got stunned here, and you can see there's three of these abilities now. One going to each boss, and those things you have to uh, get out of because, well, they do like 600 damage rapidly, so it's not super high damage, but if you get hit by a lot of them, then of course that's going to be uh, pretty painful. Look at this, there's so many things I have to avoid, and these actually do a lot of damage. I'm not sure... Can you actually just walk through these, or do you have to search through them? I don't think there's enough space to just walk through them. Oh, so you can actually use the snapshot ability, this one, to go back in time 10 seconds. So, like, I use it on full HP. If I click it now again, I go back to full HP, and all my cooldowns are back again from uh, that moment. And this actually is going to be the kill if I don't die from insane damage. Actually, uh, didn't die on the first attempt. That's pretty surprising. And let's see what the loot is going to be. I guess it's in the uh, the chat, but I want to see here. Okay, so 166,000... 60 blue charms? Oh my goodness, that's, that's actually a lot. I have to go back to bank, I think. I don't think I have enough supplies. Maybe I do actually for another kill. But, um, wow, 60 blue charms and a lot of these as well. I don't know how many you will need of these to be able to charge the ring, but... Uh, yeah, I definitely think that that's, that's a very interesting boss, and it's not too difficult if you have pretty good gear, but in the end it does hit very hard, because it becomes enraged and you have to just DPS raise it down, but if you're good geared and you use like Death Swiftness or something like that, you can probably just delete it before it's even uh, scary in any kind of capacity. Cannonballs and some more of the same items, I guess. Oh, another Elder Trove and... Oh, dude, this is going to be an actual really good boss for Iron Man, I think. This seems like a lot of Alkyballs. Let's see what I get from this one. Even more Alkyballs. Two beams from one drop. Let's see what this is actually going to be. First time I've ever got these salvages, and I think they're worth like 100k something per one. 100... Oh, yeah, exactly 100k, but 166k in the GE. And then a Triskelion key, there's so many charms on this. I think I got the first page of the book that you can get. It seems to be this one, Manuscript of Jazz. And the loot is, by the way, very good at this boss, as I keep saying. But uh, let's see, it is uh, 400,000, and yes, it seems to be the page that you get for the book. So I guess it's good to stack them up before I do get it. Another two manuscripts in one drop, that is worth 1.7 million from one single kill. Hey, 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 look at that. That's uh, on kill number 52, I think. Carapax wrist wraps, the tier 85 magic gloves. I'm so excited to try this out. I have to try them out right now, man. Equipped some of my magic gear and I'm just going to attack something here like the siege engine or something like that. So let's try this out. And there's the dragon's breath. And now if I use combustion, I splashed. That's perfect. I'm just gonna go and attack something that's weak to air spells, which I'm using now. So let's see here. Dragon's Breath, please hit. Okay, we got the hit. Now combust. Let's see what this is going to do. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> oh, that looks so nice. I don't think the damage is like crazy. It's just 25% more damage, but because it's instant, it looks so satisfying. Oh my god, I have to do that again. Wait, give me a second. Do I have both abilities? Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, what can I hit? That's weak. Okay, there we go. So let's do a Dragon's Breath again. Hopefully it hits. 
And if I can run to the actual monster. There we go. And now let's see combustion on this one. Oh my god, all those 900 hits. It looks so good. I, I love using these, but I don't know how good they are. Oh, I actually realized you don't have to use the Dragon's Breath first. You can just put Combustion and then after Dragon's Breath. And it's going to do all... Oh my god! 1880 damage every single tick. What? That's insane. That's because I walked it, right? It has to be because I walked it. Okay, so let's walk the bleed again. And then let's do Dragon's Breath now. Oh, dude, these hits are juicy. I actually just crafted the uh, Shadow Pontifex ring and I charged it with 1000 Resonant Anima of Jazz because I have so many now. And uh, I didn't even know this, but it has an effect that makes you immune to the stun that Karapak does when he jumps on you. I'm not sure how, actually how valuable that is because the ring has no stats. But maybe if you want to kind of like AFK the boss a bit more and just be chill, then uh, I guess it could be a pretty good option. I really do want to get that 99 Hunter though, and now that I've done quite a bit of Karapak, I want to take a break, and as you can see, I'm already 94 Hunter and almost halfway to 95, and I'm going to be doing this all the way until 99, and it is going to take a while, so I'm just going to end the video here, and then in the next one, I'm going to probably do more Karapak, because I really want that Scripture of Jazz, it seems like such a good PVM upgrade for really anything, and the pages are so easy to get, every page is 45 minutes of use, which is a very long time. It's the same as the other pages, but these are just way easier to get. So uh, yeah, it's definitely something I want to get my hands on. It shouldn't be too bad either. But for now, this is going to be the end of this video. I do sincerely hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so happy about getting those magic gloves. They are going for like 50 plus mil in the main game, which is very nice to see that they have good value. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, like the video and uh, subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to be notified when I post the future content updates. Have a good one. Take care.